I'm pretty sure when you're creating a VR experience and your hands go through objects, they just don't look realistic, right? So let me show you how we can bake it with virtual grass. You can go in and actually start the baking, prepare the objects. And once you prepare the objects, information goes to a cloud service, it gets downloaded. And then when it gets downloaded, you can kind of see that all the grab interactions, like for instance, in this case, I am grabbing different pieces from the radio. And then also as I grab the radio, it just looks more realistic. In this case, I'm grabbing a cup with the, with the cap and I can rotate it in, but I didn't have to set up any of these grasp interactions. Everything just happened automatically by using virtual grass. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up some of these more complicated articulations by just giving you a walkthrough of what I did to create this demo. The first thing that I wanna show you is the setup for the cup. So it has a VG articulation, also a rigid body, because it's going to be the main component that we're gonna be grabbing. Also a target cap, which is transparent because I wanna show the user where, where to put the cap and also the cap itself with a couple of VG articulations, one floating, a revolute, which allow us to rotate, and also an assemble VG articulation, which takes care of all the joints and how to basically attach the actual cap to the cup. So each banana has a VG articulation component with swing degrees, also an anchor point. The anchor point itself is really important because I wanted to make sure that when I grab it, it feels realistic when you're basically shaking the banana with your hand. So that's why it looks realistic because it's pointing in the right direction. Also, it has a disassemble with distance, which allows me to basically detach the bananas from the main object, which is actually the plate. So if you wanted to know more about these, I would recommend that you look at their website and also the onboarding. On the onboarding scene, there are many different examples that you can look at. And then each one of the examples come with a specific test. So I'll just link that website in the description of this video. Thank you very much, guys.